we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique House. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. Well, go on, you know, Madea. But I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. Boss Talk Podcast 101 on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, Patreon, you name it. We're on it. Even threads. We're on it, too. Boss Talk Podcast 101. But if y'all want to see the full-length interviews before all these clips start happening, all y'all got to do is sign up for a membership. Y'all say you love what we do. We meet y'all on a daily basis. Y'all love us. Keep grinding. Show your support. Support the brand. Go ahead and sign up for that membership package. You see, you'll get some merch too. Y'all just gotta send us the information, but y'all see all the full length interview way before the clips come out. Thank you in advance. Man, hold up, man. We got a special oh. guest here today. This guy don't need no introduction, as I always say. Yes, sir. This guy right here, man. Listen, man, been rocking with Boss Talk 101 the real way, the only way, man. Yeah, Gutter man. TV is in the building. Yeah, we, what's going on? We, yeah, we let's get the clap going. going. On. Yeah, yeah, and I'm wearing the merch. Yeah, you already you know. Is. Last time I wore the merch, my wife, look out. She dripped out. Man, she done killed these niggas yeah. with the hat, nah, man. She dripped out. Say, man, go to TV. How you come up with this design, bro? Well, you know, somebody made that for me a long time ago, and I just made it. I made them bigger. That's hard. You and I like them shorts you, you got up. on too. I like the shorts. You got the whole set. Man, yeah. I spotted the shorts when yeah. you walked through. I'm got like, the that whole the, set. That GT, I'm like, where mine at? Yep, no, I feel you. Yeah, he got I it. Oh, he got too. that merch. I, I got too. some. What I do, though, I, I'm i big on me and my people in the merch more than the fans. I'm sorry. That's hard. <laughs> but, I like that. You know, if you're going to see me and my people, though, shit, we're going to have this shit on. That's, and that's hard. Yes, yeah. sir. That's hard, man. Like, I that's ship, dope. though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but hey, I'm that just telling dope. you. Yeah. Man, so, What's man, up, like, man? like man, man, just chilling, man. Like, you know, I'm going to get right into it, man. I seen the fight uh, last night. Yeah. Um, we This is right uh, after the Earl Spence fight. We, you know, uh, Crawford, you know, I really didn't have no skin in the game. I didn't bet. Yeah, me either. I ain't bet either. I, I watched the fight. I heard a lot of people talking before the fight and after the fight. It was a big lead up to the fight. Um, it had a lot of people feeling, uh, you know, you had a lot of people feeling a certain way. I seen a lot of people hollering my boy, a uh, whole lot of wood shit. He was up there with his Don King wig on. It was going down. Everybody had them checked in. They went up to Vegas. They went up there for the W. That's right. And it didn't work out for him last night, you know. Uh, yeah. Earl Spence ended up losing that one. It yeah. was a, it was, it, it was really a one-sided fight. The whole fight, I don't even know if Earl won that first round. A lot of it was, it was, it I was. Feel you. It could have went either way on I, the first uh, round. I missed the first one. I got in right at the second round. You seen the so you seen the knockdown? Yeah, I saw the. You first seen knockdown. the knockdown? And then yeah, it wasn't nothing else but the, but uh, uh, but really uh, for me at that point it was a, a Bud Crawford show. He had the net on him when he came in the ring. Said he was going fishing or somebody. He go, he gonna capture the big fish. Oh, that what he said. That's what he had on. He had a net on his arm. He Damn. come. He, Eminem came out and he came out well, in I a saw epic that. way. I told you that was the difference. When to Eminem me. came out, he didn't even rap because the music was off. Uh, uh, Big X tried to rap on that music, but the the sound system wasn't right. Oh, for real. And Eminem picked up on it with the veteran technique. So he didn't even try to rap above his song. They just let his song play. Big X could have apt to do that, but he didn't. He went and tried to rap on top of it. To go. And it was just the music and the sound in there mm -hmm. wasn't on point. So we had a offset situation from the Earl Spence side from the jump. And, and, and it was a tough fight all the way to the end, man. Right. But kudos both of those boys. They showed up. They got their bag of money. I know they made above $20 million each one of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's big time for them because I don't think either one of them have ever made the money they made. It was last a packed night. arena. I'm telling you that. It was a lot oh, of people in there. It Chris was crazy. Chris Brown was in that thing. It was jam packed. I, said, I was I was calling niggas out the whole night. Charlemagne was in that thing. Chico Bean was in that thing. Uh, DC Young Fly. Yeah. Uh, all them niggas was I there. Saw, I saw Pacquiao E40. Crawford was there. I, uh, I uh, saw Terrence Crawford. Russell Westbrook. I mean, not I Terrence, saw, but uh, uh, what's that other nigga name? Uh, 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 1501 oh, Crawford. Carl Crawford. Carl Crawford was with Terrence Crawford last night. Yeah. This shit was going crazy, man. They any what, kin? They, they family? I don't know if they family, but they were together, man. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga was with him. Man, it's like, I, we thought they cousins. I don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> so, so when you, who did you have picked for the fight? Just, 
If just out of fun. I, I would say Earl. You picked Earl. Yeah, because I would. I mean, but I felt like Crawford was going to do his thing because I've been just, I didn't seen a couple of his fights and then I, I done heard a lot about him. But I really was going for Earl. So you felt disappointed when it didn't go your way? <laughs> he don't care. <laughs> yeah, he just said. <laughs> he don't give a damn. He yeah, got I, 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 wasn't he got I wasn't disappointed. I wasn't disappointed. I was more like, you know, every dog has a day. So you feel me? And sometimes you, what my boy say, you win some, you, you lose, lose some. But do you, you think they're gonna be? Day. Do you think yeah. gonna be a rematch? For sure. Yeah. At one fifty four, sure. he's trying to go. to My boy said December. That's super close. He sure mm. did. He had like he want to run Who that thing back. That what Earl said. Mm. I think it end up being around by. You think February. he gonna be ready? I mean, that's kind of too soon. I think December. by February. That was a nice fight to be trying to get back in. I think December. by February. Yeah, by February. It's going down. But you've watched Earl fight before. Do you think that yeah. in this fight he put out his all? I I feel like he was trying. That it no, just no, wasn't working. Was he? Did, did you think is a yes or no? Did you think he put out his all? Yes, yes. or no? You really did. Yes. Because this thing, I don't think none of us going into a fight, not thinking it's all. You know, not to give it all. I don't see that. Feel me? Like I'm saying, like picture, is, we all human beings. It depends on the day that we've been having. We don't know what's been going on in his me- in his mind before. Yeah, no, nah, but I, I'm just saying, like just just picture, like even getting in the street fight. It's more or less like you only want to fight to win. You know what I'm saying? You damn near want. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I feel like he was mentally in his head, like I'm gonna mm-hmm. win. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I don't know if he physically gave it his all. That's you what feel I was me? But mentally, I don't think he was like uh, thinking I'm gonna lose or nothing. You feel me? But mm-hmm. I don't know, man. Every dog he lost, has though. his day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Every dog has his day. I think you put it in the right words, man. Uh, yeah. At one fifty four, will he be able to win or no? And Crawford thirty five too. He older guy. Like you feel me? Shit, he fought good to be thirty five. Yeah, he fought like a 25-year-old. He did. Yeah, that nigga was coming with it. So, um, I mean, you know, Gutter, so what... I mean, you've been working with a lot of different people, man. Um, I've seen you uh, do different things. You behind the scene doing a lot of things, too, man. How do you feel like the music game is going to like like now as far as when you look at the labels, when you look at the talent and just the way that mm-hmm. people are moving the independent versus being signed to a label? Like, what do you think? Shit, um... What do you want me to answer? The independent part, like versus signed to a label. You can do that, and then you can come back and tell me how it is. How it signed is. to a label today versus the way it used to be. Well, shit, uh, the independent part, everybody be talking all that shit, but they don't want that. It's hard, ain't it? I've been that, and, 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 and they don't want that. That come mm-hmm. with responsibility. That come with you being the the person to put up and do everything. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. People always yelling independent, but if you got a chance to get a deal, I'm going to tell you quick, go get a deal. Wow. And I and I agree with that so much, man. Um, niggas always, but niggas always come at me, though, when I say that, though. They be like, man, look, go to tell the niggas just go sign anything or go do it. No, nah, nigga, that ain't what I'm saying. I'm saying if you ain't got it yourself, you need the help. Yeah. Ain't no way around it. No, you're exactly right. I agree with that 100. percent you, you, most of these guys don't understand what it takes to even push an artist and develop an artist. Like a lot of people think it's a one and done, but you know you don't have but freak accidents like that. A lot of it's build up. Mm-hmm. A yeah, lot of it's behind yeah. the scene build up. Yeah. And I think they underestimate how much goes into trying to make an artist. It's a lot too. Am I right? No, nah, it's a lot. Because I've seen you work with so many different people. Like explain, like even that deal you did with uh, uh with with. Uh, what's her name, them? Which one? Uh, Sensei Molly Sensei and uh, Molly, Lil Brooke. Uh, and Lil Brooke. Like, how was that deal leading going into that deal for them? Um, like you was there from the beginning, mm-hmm. all the way till they left, right? And and you just tell me how was it walking in and understanding how to develop, getting them into a deal? See, they um, they didn't understand that that um, I mean, they was good. Every the whole situation was cool, but I don't think. The girls understood that um, people gonna have opinions, and you gotta either fix it up or you gotta shit take it and run with it. It's just different things. Like say, like I say this: um, when they got the deal, the label Def Jam had them perform in front of Fat Joe, and Fat Joe just honestly he wasn't feeling it. You know Fat what Joe I mean? didn't. He wasn't into it. Fuck no. 
A nigga was like How do you know he wasn't into it though, Gunner? Because he stopped him from rapping They was performing He said stop And he told him <laughs> What did he say? If you don't mind me It's been a water on the bridge now Was it like detail? Like you gotta work on this, this, and this? Yeah, he was like I can remember word for word what he said That nigga said I don't know if y'all gonna fuck me or shoot me Damn this <laughs> nigga <laughs> tripped out. Mm-hmm. But did you but feel that, him on it? A hundred percent. Why? Why did he say? Because they was talking about guns or something, and then they, they was talking, talking about, about guns, guns, and then they was talking about fucking on your, your nigga or fucking on a bitch or you know what I mean? That's it how was they flow. Real was. rowdy. Yeah, it was all over the place, kind of. And he said it and shit. They didn't like that shit. What did, they, what did they say? They was like, who's this old ass nigga? Get this old ass nigga out of here. Uh-oh. What's his hit? Lean back? That shit so old. They oh, was, they, uh, damn. They it got rowdy. Yeah, it got rowdy. So got this rowdy. in front of him? Yeah, hell yeah. What, what did he say? He got up and walked out. He said, they, he said, he said, all right, I'm done. They'll be through in two years. Was he right? They still going, but he kind of was on the song. You see what I'm saying? Was he right? He, they still going, but he was on the song. He just wanted motherfucker to listen. He felt like if you ain't listening, for sure you're going to be out of here, basically, to me. When you was working with them, what were some of the key points that you seen good things about w- working with them, and what were some of the things that stick out to that you feel y'all could have did better as a team? Well, my little hard worker, she going to wake up thinking about music all day. Feel me? So you can't knock that. She a beast with that. She want it like I want it. So okay. uh, Brooke, she just was, a lot of times Brooke just go with the flow. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You can tell that when you're in a flow. She just go with the flow sometimes. You feel me? But Molly, she, you can't even knock it. That motherfucker gonna work hard. She gonna mm-hmm. figure it out. And that was a plus because you needed yeah, to work Yeah, that was hard. a plus because, you know, as a manager or a CEO, we don't always need the fucking, um, the pressure on us. You know, yeah, like yeah. to do yeah. this, to book the studio, to shoot a video, or to go get a show, or to get a connection. I ain't had to worry about that with Molly. She she's gonna find the studio. She gonna find a nigga to shoot a video. Like she, she gonna work. Yeah, she gonna figure it out. And was it? I mean, at the end, and I talked to both of them. I interviewed both of them. Uh, at the end, everything kind of was like they were they. I think they was kind of like they had been trying to make them a group or something. Yeah. Trying to keep them together. And they keep wanted their group. own. They wanted their own. Yeah. Molly wanted to be solo. And and, and and that's something that happened when you're dealing with groups because they yeah. do get tired. Well, of, she was already solo. Brooke kind of got blessed in. You did that. No. Well, Molly, who brought Molly it in? Did that. Oh, they Molly was, they they brought cool. it in. No, she just landed on the hit. Like oh. me and Molly was recording her first tape and the, the hit on the tape, Brooke was on. That one song. That she one wasn't song. on no other songs. But that's mm-hmm. the one that, you that feel me? they picked. Yeah. So like that two two three song, that wasn't no Sensi Molly and Lil Brooke song. That was Sensi Molly featuring Lil Brooke. Oh, so they but made it a when it, thing. Yeah, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And it wasn't a bad look. It was nah, a dope yeah, look. Nah. That whole was they solid. They good together. Hell yeah, that whole See, was solid. Years, a couple years later, after the deal, uh, Warner Brothers tried to sign them. And I had a deal on the table, but once I got Molly on the phone, she just, Brooke was with it. She like, come on, girl, let's go. What they finna, money-wise and all this? She like, let's go. Molly was just like, "No, I don't wanna be in no group. Wow. She like, forget the money. Like, I was like, I couldn't do nothing but salute them. I was like, I feel you. Do you think if they stayed in the group- I was about to say that. um, They would've gotten a lot further than they are today? Yeah, the nigga from Warner Brothers even said, he said, I don't just wanna sign her. I want them both for nothing. I was like, well, shit. Wow, how hard is it for you at mentally dealing with that? Like you, that's stupid mental hard because I needed that money at the that's time. That's what I'm saying. Like, I was, what the fuck? Let's do this deal. Yeah, <laughs> let's get this bread. The fuck and we she don't want to even deal with it. Yeah, no. Nah. I, I got to get her back on work. I want to ask: her, Is there any regrets? You know what I mean? Yeah, I that, feel you. Because it, it, it's something to think about when you have. She gonna say no. Because you got to think about it. Those opportunities, For those, sure. those yeah, doors don't open no. all the time, man. No, nah, they don't. But that's what I be trying to tell artists when I say get the deal. I don't be saying take any deal. I be trying to tell you that this shit don't fall off trees. No. That shit around right now, but next week, they might not want you. That's it, because they got a lot <laughs> of people that's trying to like, get at them. Yeah. Man, I, I, I guess I move into I seen you with uh, Crib Mac. Crib Mac. 
what you doing with Crip, man? Because I talked to the nigga a couple of times when he was locked up. Matter of fact, me and him was on the phone. We was on the phone like well, for hours when we made. Mm -hmm. Well, first off, I'm a blood nigga. Yeah. Crip, Crip Mac, my partner, though. He, okay. um, I was in L.A. He saw I was in L.A. on the ground, probably. He was like, yo, gutter TV. Let's he do an interview or something. Let's, something, come, let me, you feel me? And That's I was like, boy. I was like, he fresh out of jail. I'm like, my boy probably needs some bread or something. I was like, let me shoot him some, too. That's hard, So I man. shot him some bread, told him to pull up. That's mm -hmm. hard. That's, I mean, and that's and that's I what makes you different, bro. I don't do no interviews. I know. To be real, like I don't give a damn about. You don't care to do interviews. I just like did that. it because he asked me. Shit, I got the text. God damn it, he was like, "Yo, five five. Can you? Can you? You know what I'm saying? He want to rock out with yeah, you. Yeah, and I was like, "Shit, it's all good. Come on." Do you okay? For since he been out and just his movement, is it? Is has it decreased? Do you think, or was he more? People were more into him before he left. He got to build that back up, don't he? He got to build it back up. Well, he got to do something in interesting. Because he had got DP'd and all that stuff before he left, and he had a, a, a only fans, and it was jumping. I'm telling you, like mm -hmm. his whole brand was jumping. But I think since he's been back, I think it's kind of like he got to build it back. He got to build it. He got to, I'm saying, he got to do something that's in, like he got to do one thing that's going to make him, you know, get the light back on him, though. Get the light back on him. Yeah. How hard is it as a as a brand uh, guy, like a person who, who, who does this, and looking at the way it's changed over the years? How hard is it to get back in the game when you when you pull off? Like you you said some one time you like man I should have stayed on YouTube. I remember you saying that, mm -hmm. but then you like nah. But you came off of it for a reason. You like man I've been doing this so long I should have just stayed on mm -hmm. it. Like how hard is it to get back in there and make this stuff what it well, was? It, it become a want then. Okay, so it ain't even like it was. Yeah, it ain't even just like if it's the game changed or nothing. It's a want. Like it's like somebody big and they want to lose weight type thing. Yeah, like, it, it really ain't gonna work unless you cheat and go get the light post shit, or you really get back on your grind and get in the gym, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's what it is, though. Let, let, let me. I gotta ask you one more question too, uh, before I give it over to her, cause she gonna have something. But I gotta ask you about the twenty eight people getting shot. You went viral on my show. Okay, you heard, like everybody was tagging in. You had all these niggas saying everything under the comments. They, oh, how this happened? Oh, 28 people. All oh, niggas do everything. I can't stand niggas. I didn't say they were mad. So what they want to know? Is I don't know what they want to know. I'm trying to figure out like is this a real situation to happen. You ain't just in here talking. So yeah. like, I mean, it's Arkansas, man. Is it really? The, I mean, does this stuff happen often, or is has it gotten better? Because back in the days, I couldn't hear nothing but gang talk down there. No, it ain't. It ain't got better. One of the little soldiers got hit up last night. Last night, and that was at a gas station yeah, out here too. That was in Dallas. Yeah. What was he doing in Dallas? Watching the fight, probably just like everybody else. And he got into it. Some it had to be some static. Nah, it was some the city shit. We all come up here to do it. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Gotta be. You feel me? It gotta be. He ain't got no issues out here. No. Yeah. So he just got caught up in the mix. Yeah. But no, nah, Lil Rock definitely active. And I'm sorry to hear that. How old was he? he? I don't know him like that, but he probably was like 20. 20, young boy. Mm -hmm. I think that was uh, your girl's cousin. My little homie fuck with him tough. My, my nigga Eastside that I push. Yeah. He fuck with him tough. Like, Wow, man. Mm -hmm. Like I said, man, how is it like when you go to these cities trying to move around and do things? How you've been doing it so long, like what's the what what's the what's, what's the, the move? Game? Yeah, what's the move? The game is look, true story. I ain't never said this either E, but this some shit I tell jump man and them like my people. You feel me? The game is to mind your business and do what you what we came to do. Feel me? Yeah. So like that's my whole goal. Like when I come do stuff, I do what I came to do. Feel me? Like mm -hmm. I'm gonna do my boss talk interview and I'm back in the car, I'm gone. You ain't even for the play. I ain't finna be hanging out with your next guest. I no. ain't finna be doing this, doing No, I'm sticking the move and I'm gone. You feel me? Like the That's thing the is people like getting in the mix of shit. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. They like meeting new people and shit, different ways yeah. and different I never wanted to do none of that. Like people like, hey, come smoke a bl I don't smoke weed with nobody. No. I only do it by myself. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Like I'm just, you feel me? That shit get people places, like other places they don't need to be. Like motherfucker like, hey, come smoke a blunt, or this or that, or you'll end up in the, the wrong trap. That's real, man. Like, you feel me? Yeah, like they Just do what you came to do. Do you think it's cause you've been around so much though, gutter? Like a lot of these guys don't even be street like that. They be in the studio, they come into this life, they trying to figure it out. Yeah. And you done been, you seen 28 people got shot and you were coming up out of there. These yeah. experiences build you up. 
Hell yeah. To where you don't want to be a part. You leave early. Like, you at a club scene, you do your thing. You ain't finna stay and watch the whole show. That's you like, out that thing. That's like with that. I was just on my manager shit. There it you is. You feel me? Like, if I wasn't picking up that money, I wouldn't even been in that show. But you feel I remember me? your disgust in it. Like, man, I got a son, man. What the hell am I doing in here? Nah, for real. <laughs> it's like, man, I done messed up big time. What you be thinking about when you end up in these <laughs> positions? You feel me? You be mad at yourself because you be like, damn, I'm tripping. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So, I mean, like, blogging, man, and just just, just being a, a podcaster and dealing with this whole situation, man, I call you for just, man, like, really a lot of time for, for like, suggestions, mm -hmm. for like opinions for like experience mm -hmm. like man what you think about this you know I do that to you in a minute nah, because you do, yo. it's like man these niggas man I don't know like you know like I'm trying to figure it out being I come from a world where you do things a certain way and you stand on what you do and you don't set up and say things that you can't account for yeah. and you ain't gonna do this against whatever you done later on like this, this world this internet world is different See, man where this too e, a lot of people they be caught up in the uh you know, it's the lifestyle. Yeah. Like, you would do an interview with somebody, like for me, for example. Like, I'd do an interview with somebody, but I never looked at them person as my homeboy when they left. You can't. See what I'm saying? You can't. Like, you some people be straight friendly, friendly when they when a nigga leave. Like, oh, yeah, that's my guy. That's my people. That's my... Hell no. No, I just Feel met me? him. I don't I know him like him. that. I ain't finna vouch for bro. Uh-uh, he got to be a love. I, I don't <laughs> yeah. trust that, nah, bro. Nah, it got to come. It got to come. It's either there there some, some dude, dude, yeah, because it's the spirit either. of discernment. For sure. God got something inside of each one of us nah, that tells sure. you, you know, you know, mm -hmm. you be like, ah. Nah. You remember, you you know, each interview, I'll tell you in a minute, like, that, these niggas. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you feel you it sometimes. Like, like, to, and I told him before they leave, like, in, a, in so many words, grow up. I didn't say, didn't I? Yeah. Like, I done told him, like, he, what can it. I do to, to be better? <laughs> I said, you need to grow up. Man, you. I said, you 36. Act he like you 36. You he do, he'll tell him in a heartbeat. For real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it need to be said. <laughs> you 36 with some 22 years old acting like you 22. They they 22. You 36. Trying to be, be in the clique. Mm -hmm. Yo, I done told him, bro. Be the, the, because that's what make me different, too, though. You, I mean, yeah, you ain't just no, <laughs> just you ain't just letting me go by. I'm analyzing you, this. <laughs> like, I got to analyze this. Nah, it's cold now. You asked me. What can I do to be better, OG? And I want to come. I want to come 36, back. Be 36. Be 36. Let them be 22. If you want to, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, but <laughs> that's what I used to do, though, too. Like, with all my artists and all that stuff, too. Like, I mean, I still do that, but I'm saying, like, even with the Mollies and all them, like, they was 18 and stuff at they that time. They were younger. So, like, I used to, They you can ask them that, too, when they come back. Like, I go off to the cut. I let them kick it with their friends, do whatever they do. I ain't finna be in the mix acting like I'm, 18, 18. You know that know ain't your saying? thing. Yeah, hell nah. Man. I smoke blunt with y'all, like, on some artist shit. But that's it. But that's it. That's far as it going. Yeah, hell nah. I ain't finna go to every party and every event with, you feel me? Nah. Well, I, like I said, I talked to, uh, and, and I don't even know if you want to speak on this, but I did talk to old boy Prince, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. About they did. He did tell me that uh, you guys, uh, he you was a, you helped him with his with his song. With, yeah, like, sure. How did that even happen? Uh, I was I was I was about to sign Mike Frisch. Really? Yeah, that's my boy right there, Mike Frisch. That nigga is a fool. So right? why didn't you sign him? Um, that's my boy, man. You, you know, know what's know. crazy? What? This I, the, I ain't never thought about it, but when I was actually called him, we've been talking for like three months, right? Mm -hmm. And I really was. I was adamant about it this last month. Like, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go sign Mike Frisch. I told my people in New York and everything. Hell I'm like, yeah. you know what? We need to sign Mike Frisch. But the day I called him to sign him, he was telling me to sign old boy Prince. That's what he do. He, he did the same person. thing. To, he, he, that like type he, of person. He passed over his situation. He always do that. Was like, He's done that before. And he, I was did like, that with, he did that with the little running. I, think, yeah. I was like, yeah. Mike, I was like, how about this or that? He was like, Man, really, Prince got this and got that going. A Prince did this. I was like, like he don't have confidence in himself. Yeah, kinda. And I was like, you know what? We'll put Prince on the phone. <laughs> Fuck it. You feel me? And she, he put Prince on the phone. Yeah, and that's Prince, how he is. Prince heard what you know. Prince, uh, should we talking this boss stuff? Prince was trying to be a little stiff about of it. Of course, because you know, he's been in the game and he's been hurt before too. And he's been hurt before. Right. Yeah. But um, 
after hearing me talking shit, he he loosened up. He was like, shit, I believe, bro. In his head, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. He like, I believe bro could really do what he so saying. What's that he gonna do? Because so many and, niggas cap. And I did that. That's hard, man. Like I said, it's so important you to have. me. You like, gotta, I'm gonna say this. He was asking for 30%. He ended up getting 70% more. So, he, so he I'm better. just saying, like, what he wanted when I first got on the phone with him, I got him 70 times more than that. Mm. That's hard. That's hard. And that's yeah, I mean, experience do that. Experience in relationships. Yeah. Experience in For relationships sure. goes so far when you're dealing so. with that. Because yeah. everybody can't get everything. And like, if I walk in the door and something I've been doing for a long time, you're not going to outdo me in doing what I do. Yeah. And that's what it is. You, you've you been doing it a while, gutter. But, yeah, that's really how I got with Prince, though. Mike Fresh. Mike Fresh is one of those guys, man, that I... Would you I, ever I, go back and be like, okay, Mike, I'm ready for you now? Yeah, I still am. I want to do something with Mike right now. Mike is the one. But I, um, I love him, bro. Like, I'm trying to figure out what, what though. Feel me? I know what. I know what. I ain't going to say it here because I know other niggas will be trying to... <laughs> Try to beat you to it. Yeah, because he would. He would. Uh, he probably would allow it. Right. You feel right, me? Right. N not saying fuck me, but right, when I opportunity know. come, people... You feel me? Knock that door but in. one thing I want to say, you know, Mike, if you're watching this, what you need to start doing, you need to take your steps and do what you need to do. Then you can reach back for all them other people, whatever, nah, instead of trying right. to put other people before you and say, all right, yeah. you go do that. Because he has a big heart, so I know he gonna really reach back and try to help some people. That was people. my problem too, though. Yeah, feel me. Early on, I used to try to <laughs> help everybody, and then I realized I'm like, I'm good. Fuck them. Right. <laughs> shit, this shit about me. Because once you're there, you, know you can saying? always help them afterwards. Yeah, but and that's what I do though. Now, right. like I help now. Like, but I, at first, I had to realize it. Like, how could I? Like, if somebody come in and invest, I'm investing in this person when I should invest in, in me. you. Yes, yes. I told them this was the lick. Yeah. Yeah, feel me? yeah, I done that so many times. But what? Wait a minute, gutter, because you've been Shit. around all these different people from Jeezy, Gucci, uh, all these different people that you've seen get these deals and do all of this moving and all that. Yeah. You you've been around it so long. Did you just have your focus on other things? Then it became a thing where you dealing with this part. Probably so. That's what it is. Probably so. Because it's levels, right? Yeah, for so sure. When you I came was probably in the game, just building. You, you just talking and yeah, building and doing building. your work. Yeah, you're right. But then as it got out, you getting more season. And then I start realizing maybe seasoned. I can do it this way. That's or right. Something. Yeah, you're right. That's right. Man. right. So, Gutter, tell me about um, Get Back. What Get is back. it all about? Oh, the movie. Mm hmm. Uh, damn, that's hard. I wrote this movie uh, like two years ago, mm -hmm. and I just wrote like half of it. Just half. And then shit, uh, Teresa Baker. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shout out, Teresa. Teresa called me and she was like, Yo, I got this dude named Peter. He shoot movies and stuff. She was like, I don't know, Gutter. I think we need to try to shoot a movie. And I was like, man, I got four movies wrote. I said, man, I just I ain't edit because ain't nobody serious. Right. She was like, well, I'm serious, nigga. I'm calling That's you. Her. You know what I'm saying? That's how I like her. And energy. I was like, all right, well, shit, I got a movie. I'm going to see if I could uh, finish it to get it going. And shit, I, believe it or not, I had got on the plane like, Two days or something later, I had a flight somewhere. I finished the movie on the flight, though. Mm, what is it about? Of course, when I think about Get Back, if something it, went wrong and I'm trying to get oh you back. Yeah, type of thing. It's, re it's about revenge. Revenge. For sure. Revenge. Okay. Um, it's about a, a youngster that um, I guess uh, I'm trying to learn how. This is my first time talking about movies without trying to give them away. You yeah, know how right. niggas yeah, be yeah, doing yeah, that. Yeah, 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 you got to. Yeah, though, you yeah, got yeah. To. But, you gotta, but you got to give it enough no, for people for sure. to be. That's why I'm finna go with you. So. Oh, okay. Uh, shit. Um, get back is about a a, a young man that w that saw his father get killed. Mm. And shit, as he got older, that's the only thing he wanted back. Was and he was a young back. kid when this when happened. it happened. Yep. And is this all made up, or this is something that you know that happened? No, nah, this is uh. Made up. Made up. Yeah, I wanted to say fiction people, or non-fiction, but yeah. which right. one is it? I get mixed up on that. I think it's fiction. I think it's fiction. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think it's fiction. I think it's fiction. <laughs> I think it's fiction. <laughs> I think it's fiction. <laughs> I was going to say it. I was like, I don't know what fiction, baby. Niggas in the comments, it's like, it's none. Nigga. Nah, but. No, because a lot of people get inspiration from other people's lifestyle. You know, that's what I was trying to say. It's just out the brain. It's just out the head. Who did you pick to pick to do your lead and role? Who did I pick to pick to do my lead and role? It's just out the brain. It's just out the head. Who did you pick to pick to do your lead and roles? Uh, my relative Sonny, uh, Ugly Money. He a rapper, Ugly Money. He from out here. Oh, okay. Oh, that's all. Um, Any acting skills at all? Uh, not before, but okay. when he started, it came out natural. 
Okay. Wow. That's yeah, like he did. He did damn good. So you happy with how everything's going? Yeah, hell yeah. It's not finished yet though. No, nah, but I'm watching the clips every day. Like I can show y'all some clips. I'm watching yeah. okay. as he edited it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And he the actually hit me today. Good? Raw. Cause that's one thing I I can't stand these bootleg qualities and that Sam. I see some of these movies. And Sam. And Sam. So what I wanted was to make sure that was good first. Okay. So when Teresa hit me with the dude, you got did you I research? Said, yeah, I did study my craft part. I had to make sure that he was gonna have the sound, the gunshots, and the quality right. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And I looked at some of his old shit, and I was like, oh, shit, that shit look hella good. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I was like, well, we might can use this nigga. So after going into- His name Peter Parker, too. Oh, Peter I don't Parker. Like Spider-Man. Nigga. Yeah, like <laughs> Spider-Man, my boy Peter Parker. Peter Parker. But after going into this um, movie um, industry, like what you're stepping into, mm-hmm. is it something that you're eager to continue in and keep For going sure. in? Yeah. Like, you know, you get that itch like, man, this is- yeah. I, I, I know it's gonna get even more that way after it comes when out and you come get, out. yeah and you like see the well, return well, well, and everything. All right, well let me say this too because I put it all on Teresa helped me do it, but before that my partner dropped a movie in April. Okay. He dropped a movie in April, uh, called Quick Money. Mm-hmm. They sent me over what they made on Tubi. After the first two weeks. And he told you how much it cost for him to make the movie. Yeah, all that, all okay. that. Yep, all that. And after the first two weeks, he had made like 40, 50 grand or something. And how much did it, it around about how much did he cost to make the movie? Cause you, you want oh, to right see around that. there. Yeah, so he got it to get back. So he, he got, got the money, money back. back. Yeah. No, but you want to see, you want to see the double and the triple and yeah, you will, but, but yeah. it come back like and that's that the first, yeah, that's first two weeks. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so he, okay. so now he in the green. Okay. okay. That was in April. Okay. You feel me? Man, I'm but I'm saying when I saw movie, that, man, I'm gonna yeah, do a boss like, movie, nigga. I'm like, damn, what this on Hulu too? Or this on that's Netflix? Is, or that's only, is it on? He's only on Tubi. No, I think he's he on. on all I think he on like some else maybe, but that okay. was strictly from Tubi. That, that payment. was strictly from Tubi. That's okay. what I was like, oh shit. Okay, I, I can do I that. Like that. We and how hard is it to actually make a movie? It's like doing these podcasts. Same thing. That's what nah, Faison nah. Love said, the same thing. Okay. Faison yeah. told me, so he said, you got okay. the cameras right here. You know here. what you need? What? People that's serious. Yeah, that's the main thing. You feel me? Everybody that was that got a part to get back, they were serious about it. So when I called and said, hey, we need to do this scene here, we need to do it, everybody was on How point. How many people did you use? Uh, Probably like 25. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I, I want to ask you about something, going back to the music. Uh. You you friends with uh Boosie, you you know yeah. Boosie, you you know Kodak Black. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. When you seen the move where Kodak did the uh song with six six, six nine, nine all that. Uh what what was your thoughts on that? Well, I'm a uh, I ain't gonna lie, I'm like a Boosie, goddamn it. I'm a uh, uh I do not like the snitching shit, bro. So So like to this day I be passing like I be on the gram and if a female, she could be half naked on that motherfucker. She be posting gonna music, fuck you mean, or some shit. I'm damn near unfollowed the bro. Like I hate that shit. So you can't rock with it. I hate that shit. So man. when you when you so when you so you done done a lot of dirt in my life. Yeah, but and shit in my heart. You turned that meal ticket. I wouldn't down. have did the um the dirt if I would have had to tell on somebody when I got caught. So when he come to you about the million dollars for the verse, man, I spend money so much. E, I'm not damn about that million. You ain't gonna take it. Shit, it won't take me long to spend it. To spend it. Shit, I love my mom and my brother. I'm trying to dream my 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 son. Hey, I'm the type. You give me a ticket. That's like the day I made. I made ten thousand a day. Oh, that's all. Yeah, what? It's gone already. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't gone, but listen, I sent my partner in Atlanta. He needed five hundred. Yeah. My partner out here, he needs seven. My mama birthday today. Oh, shout out. Mama, I'm mama, I'm gutter. Say mama. I'm mama say, gutter. Yeah. I'm saying all that to say I'm I'm kind of friendly with the money, though. Yeah. I'm the so, nigga that everybody call for cash apps and shit. I'm going to keep it good. I can say it on camera. And I don't mind because I ain't no sucker. Yeah. I do it for only the people that I got love for. So, you feel me? But how I many am people the nigga do it for you? No, how many people do it for me? Not, yeah. yeah cause, Probably like three. See, that's the thing. Yeah. Most people I, I know it on my don't head, always though. get it back. Because I know in my head, like, whenever I'm having a, one of them times, mm-hmm. I know the only three people I can call. 
That's hard. You feel me? But so you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have did the six nine verse with no with no because you not built like that. Now nah, we can use it for an interview. Like let's say an interview. If six nine was like good, I give you a million. Give you a million, million for the interview. You not like, hell no. You're not rocking with him. No. Fuck so that how do you dollars. feel about Kodak now? Listen, Would you ever be called with Kodak again? Well, that's different unless Kodak do some t- ratting itself. You feel me? Yeah, he ain't did no ratting. No, nah, just him linking with him. That's what he wanted to then do. Then he talking about it on the verse, like I got this cheat something from the rat or whatever. That's the shit. He's he smart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm mean, just go against my. Shit, well, boys. you would do things. Feel me? I get it. I get it. He's what? smart though. That makes sense, nigga. That's a ticket. But it's really affecting Boosie. He don't like it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Me either. Boosie, like, I can't do this. Cause you man. know what though? We was really sp- think about how we tear down niggas, right? Say yeah. if a nigga, say like Earl Spence. I'm pretty sure I tried to get on the ground today. He all I seen people making Martin faces mm-hmm. all yeah, day, right? Mm-hmm. I'm saying that to say this: How we let a, a Mexican white boy? Still be alive and still be fucking with him, and he done snitched on a whole bunch of uh, niggas. Yeah, feel me? I'm saying we crazy. We picking on Earl Spence and niggas like this, but we letting Let this nigga live. Him. Well, he got beat up pretty bad though at the gym. Not by no niggas. No, nah, I wasn't no niggas. That's what I'm trying to tell you. No niggas. niggas is stupid. We it crazy as hell. No niggas, we be man. picking and choosing our own people. I heard niggas say when when Gunner came out, that last that last song, like he killed it on the, the music. I'm like, I ain't even hear it. I yeah, still I don't heard listen it. to that nigga. I still yeah. hadn't heard it to this day, but yeah, I heard no. niggas say. You know, I never listen to bro again. I never fuck with bro ever. Yeah, you, you know life. him before that. I didn't, and, and you won't now. Nah, cause it ain't. It ain't nah. No, it's just certain things you don't do. You live by a code, you're out yeah. in the streets. The thing be, we be signing up for this shit, though. Yeah, yeah. Feel me? Yeah. That's the part. Everybody, Everybody forget. Everybody forget about that. Yeah, yeah. when the, like say like people come to, I done had so many people come to me and they be, you know, we start out the relationship and they be, they like, they, they might have some money and they might be paying me to do some or doing this and shit, out the gate, that first payment, I signed up for this shit. Yeah, so yeah. if bruh had been selling a thousand keys or something and go to jail or something, shit, I kind of was already involved. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feel me? Yeah. Not saying I could take his charge. I'm saying, shit, I probably should have not fuck with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get, See I get what I'm that. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, you got to just know, like, I shouldn't fuck with him. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. I, I, People don't be changing in front of you. They kind of already beat him. That's real. That's real talk. That's real. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to ask you about. Uh, I had Jody Breeze on here, yeah. and uh, I fuck with Jody. And Jody Breeze, uh, he's a funny dude, man. I loved it because him, me, and my wife was here, and he stopped the interview almost. He said, "Man." How do y'all do this? He couldn't understand marriage. <laughs> man, y'all niggas either dope or crazy as hell. You're, I love this nigga, man. Like, this nigga funny as hell. Like, Listen. I was sitting here listening to him, man. I feel Jody on that though. <laughs> he like, Cause, man, we've been here 20 years together. We got kids. Man. Our kids actually is 17 and 15 together. Man, I can't, I, I, I just ain't found nobody compatible enough that I want to be around. Besides my baby mama And when that ended It was more or less like I ain't found nobody else You just chilling Yeah Yeah Hell yeah But you know It, it get lonely he's, Like he, he too picky He Probably. too picky Probably But you supposed Probably. to be picky I'm gonna Probably. tell you that right now You go through some stuff You get picky I just don't want to Let me see but then sometimes when you're so picky and then when you As you get older You don't find what you're looking for That's why a lot of people yeah. Always settle for whatever, because you're getting older, you don't want to be alone. You're tired of the right. one night stands. You're tired of all of that stuff. You want yeah, that I'm one tired person. Of that shit. See, because hoes ain't shit. Wow, that man. Shit. And I it's mean, hard. I mean, and I mean the word hoes. These hoes you know ain't loyal. You know what I'm saying? These like, hoes ain't loyal. You know, like just you feel me? I feel you. Because if they can do the one night stand too, then that's crazy. That's they how definitely. I be looking at it. You feel me? Like so Lori Harvey, she catch a bad rap because they they be on her on these songs. Cause ain't, ain't nothing wrong with it. We doing yeah, it. Like That's what we doing. doing. Like like she. I'm just saying them. it more or less. Like I don't think I'm gonna get tired of that until I I'm ready to deal with a motherfucker. Uh, it's hard, bro. It's oh lord, man. So do you you know um, do, so so when it comes down to it, man, like. Out of all the relationships you done been through far as all the artists and stuff and dealing with different artists, man, when you look at the uh Jesus, the 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 
the Yo God is. Mm -hmm. What's the other guy that your best partner, the one be down, the one I've been trying to get? Jay on Money. Here? Jay Money. Hey, Jay the, Money in Dallas been right trying, now. And he won't even come do balls. Nah, time. He, he don't know. I try bro, to call him. Wrong, he probably bro. sleep, bro. I try to call bro, him. I was going to tell him to nigga, come man, over you here. You surprised me, man. I was going to tell him to come up here, man. man I don't know like what Jay did. I'm going to call him, man. But the cold still. part about it is, man, I've been you trying to about get him over here, man. Like, like, Oh, which shit. one? Which one was like the most impactful? You know what I'm saying? Like person to be around? Yeah, like like the one that that when you when you you left with something that was so valuable, like I could never forget that. Well, I told you that last time. Let me think though. Some more. I tell you something now. I don't know. I told you that last time though, and I told you with Jeezy. Yeah, I remember just how yeah. he moved. Yeah, so it, yeah, that's so it was the Jeezy, but I didn't yeah. compare it to everybody. Yeah, no, nah, but to everybody, probably uh, because it, it, it's probably Lil Fat too. Lil Fat let me Lil know Fat. that that either either uh, either you in or you're not. Yeah, type shit. Yeah, feel me. Yeah, and that kept me to knowing what I want to do. Cause Fat the type that like I remember one time. This is, I tell you a story. Okay. Okay. Fat had a show in Ohio And nobody used to go to Fat's show Because he didn't fuck with nobody So it'll just be me and him Or maybe me, him, and the driver Or that's it It's just gonna be us Yeah So this time He come pick up me He come pick me up late Like he come by my house He like, I need you to go with me And I got a show in Ohio I, I decided to go, right? By the time we get four, five hours in, I'm driving, I'm sleepy as hell, E. Man say, uh, I say, I say, youngin, I'm finna pull over and let you drive, cause shit, I'm tired, nigga, I'm gonna fuck around and go to sleep. That nigga said, damn, bitch, girl, you shouldn't have came then. I said, I'm looked at this young nigga, I'm like, what? You feel me? <laughs> but I'm saying, if you think about it, that made sense, though. He said you should have came if you weren't prepared to, to, to kick it. Like, stay. If you weren't prepared to drive, if you weren't prepared to be security, manager, if you weren't prepared to be... Because you know how to I do roll. your job, yeah. And that woke me up, though, because it was like, damn, he kind of right, though. I should have just said no. Nah. should have just said no. Nah. Yeah, because I didn't feel like going. Yeah, and the thing is, you got to understand, man, these guys, man, like, he had a trust in you for him to even just grab you and go like that. Yeah, nah, for it sure. It was like, me and you, we'll, we'll turn, we'll, whatever we got to do to come up That's out there. That's why I went, too. Because I'm you, like, shit, all right, nigga, you by yourself? I'm like, all right, fuck nah, it. No, we ain't going to let you yeah, go by like, yourself. But nah, that, that let me know some shit, like, it's, it's choices. It's let me know. You feel uh, me? Yeah, yeah. Just let me know that, uh, shit, we got choices to do this shit. Mm -hmm. That's why even with the 6 9 That's why I ain't a cool Like agree with it Right Cause when he did Them first videos And all that He had a choice Like he had to go Put all them blood niggas In his videos And all that shit Yeah You yeah, feel yeah, me yeah, like, no. and, and he definitely That's how he, he came up Off of that Yeah for sure he Came up off of that That's yeah. how I first seen him When I first seen him Like I, I was like Damn Who's all these blood niggas Back there They got the red flags They were rocking with it. It was. I was like yeah. That's my first time Ever seeing him And it was in New York It was it? in New York on my billy It whatever. turned out to be that them shoddy niggas Shoddy Yeah like, yeah It was It yeah. was man So when you look at uh, You you from the south man Like when you look at the south You know how I am I'm big on the south Yeah I'm trying Me to help too. To push the whole Whole south uh, 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 the, the, the respect level Gotta be Yeah Like like you know Everybody When they talk about our music For me I don't think it gets The same essence As, as everybody else Like they They Call it the Chitlin Circle when they go so far down and all this stuff. I'm like, saying though, you got to kind of feel them though. Eh? Yeah, I feel them, but at the end of the day, we don't have to be. We can grow. We can evolve. Well, now nah, the problem is we not though. But we got to. What I'm saying is the structure has. You to know be put what in I'm place. saying? It because think about it. Think about a New York artist or L. A. artist, right? Okay. Down South artists is saying shit like, "What my booty hole brown and shit." Yeah, pussy they not pink. rapping like that up there. You hear Ice Spice flows? Mm hmm Yeah. But her way to say what Sexy Red saying was saying you were much. You picked the wrong, wrong uh, no, example. No, right? no, because. Like, that the ain't thing, the only music we got down here. That's what all that's our the shit hit sound though, right? like. Yeah, that's the really. hit. That's really. Or F and L. That's what I'm saying. All our shit kind of, you know what I mean? But this is the South. Yeah, but I'm saying. We not going to do it like that. We not that. 
Well, we gotta quit trying to be so them. We gotta. We do gotta it. quit trying to be the head of hip hop. Then I think because think- New York is no matter what we do down here. New York got the flow. They got the the, the style. I they think we're got talking it. about two different things. I'm talking about the way that the information flows. Yeah. Like when you look at the history that was made in the South, it wasn't depicted in the way that it should have been. And if, if we'd have done a better job, we'd be, we'd be in a better place today. I feel you. I'm not talking. I know what you're talking about just the lyrics, but I'm talking about the whole build up because if we don't feel people like you and I. We people the real ones got to build it up to I where people you. can respect it. The artist is just a part of the structure. You're right. You see what I'm saying? Nah, so we right. got to do better in trying to figure out a way to make sure we don't even admit certain things and, and come together in that way. And the real bosses got to do that. I'm just being nah, real. Nah, you right. Because the real ones know. You see it coming before it get to you. you it's yeah. slow motion to you. You nah, like you that? Right. Oh, man. You've been doing this so long. So at that nah, point, we right. got to have a committee. You know what I'm saying? We got to have a committee. Hey, what's crazy nigga. is my, uh, my, my assistant, Joe, she on... Um, she created a committee, and we ain't start pushing it or nothing, but she created a whole committee, and she's starting to add people to it or who but need to be on it. you see what I'm saying? It. She understand what you're saying. Yes. Like, the structure is so important, and it's respected when you do it right. That's the way all the mobsters move. She like, and that's how we're going to help the artists, too. Like, yeah. That's how you're going to... They gonna know about health insurance, so that's how they gonna know about know none of that. Uh, uh, life insurance, or that's how they gonna know about what to do when uh, music over, all that. Like that was she want the committee to that's be the about. truth, and I'm like, yeah, that's hard. No, that's the truth because at the end of the day, at that point, once you start getting it at that level, then people have to respect the way it moves yeah. on that format, and you can't just come do us any kind of way because we so structured. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you a question. They said, uh. Boosie is the down south Jay Z, or he bigger than Jay Z, or something. They no, said they you said saw it. I, I, it was on my show a lot of times where we spoke on the. Um, it, it was one time I got a lot of critic. Uh, I was criticized for that mm-hmm. because I said I listen to I listen to Boosie before I do Jay Z. Oh, you said that too. Yeah, I said it. I don't listen. I saw I'm not I don't a, like Spade. I'm not Spade a Jay Z. I'm not like that, bro. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I can't relate to that. See, and I love Hov. Like because that's that, that, okay. I, I love that's it. your generation too. It's, it's up in my generation too. But mm-hmm. I'm just saying, I'm not a. I'm gonna be more if you go to the Hov era. I'm Pimp C. I'm yeah, uh, you, Scarface, Scarface. Um, Big Mike. Um, you start going yeah. there. Because you for the uh, South. Uh, it ain't that I'm for the South. That's what I listen to. When I was banging my music, I wasn't banging that. See, I would, I, I, I can't, and I bang Hov. Like, I really listen to the nigga. But, but I listen to Scarface. But, but when too, you though. go back before but, that, even when The Chronic was out and all that, I was listening to that 8-ball MJG, and I'm a yeah, Southerner, bro. The com- I was listening to Too Short before I was listening to The Chronic. Cocktail. Did you hear what I just said? I was listening to Too Short before I was listening to The So I'm not finna sit here and play like I and live this life. Nah, for sure. So I'll be wrong to sit here and be like, yeah, man, because everybody like, Jay-Z got a book. So I'm not that nigga. I'm not, that's not my thing. Yeah, see, I, I don't know about all that, but I fuck with him because of, you know, flow-wise, like, yeah, music. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? Like, I mean, not even his business. Everybody always makes his business when I be talking about Jay. You know, fuck his business. Yeah. To my that nigga, when he came in as an artist from 96 to now, he probably the coldest I ever seen do it. I can't say no that. No lie. I, I ain't man, never. Tupac, I ain't I'm a Tupac never, fan, so no, I can't. I love Pac. I can't say Pac was. Pac didn't I, flow better than Jay when, when he nah, was living. When I hear Pac, though, still, he still ain't got what Jay got, though. Oh, no, nah, I can't ride Pac with Raw, that. Pac Raw, though. I can't ride with that because I seen what was going on during the time. Pac, Pac is in my top five. You know what I'm saying? I'm riding down the highway listening to that Pac going from city to city, state to state, doing things that I don't even want to speak of on here. Yeah. And I, it was, it was a, it was a, 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 what you call? It was soothing. It was, it was mentally. Have you ever heard Jay Z Reasonable Doubt CD though? Yeah, I heard a little bit of it. I'm pretty sure it was everywhere for a while, so I had to hear it, but it didn't amuse me like that. Yeah, you nah, know what I'm saying? Nah, I know nah, some I'm of saying, the songs. I'm saying I'm newer now, though. I'm saying like now that you. Past no, that no, I ain't like, really. I, feel I ain't like really went back listen and listened to, to it like just, that. Just, just, to, just to see, like, and I'm talking about listen to it though on music, strictly on flow, yeah, on artistry. Do really, ain't nobody can't nobody do what he do. No lie. I went to his concert. Mm-hmm. She took me, and I'm talking about everything from that too though. I just used '96 because that was his start, but everything yeah. after that too, like. I ain't nobody putting no words together like that. It's the way he do it, the way he say it. I mean, ain't nobody doing it. I can't say that, man. Storytelling? 
No, not no, storytelling. Saying, not well, storytelling. Is this real or is this is this fiction or non-fiction? As you said, Wally. what See, are now, we dealing anybody with? Anybody saying that it ain't real? They they fake. They That's self. what I'm asking. So, like, is it real like, flow or is it stories or is what? It, what are we talking about? Everything about music, about hip hop, about rap. Like everything that goes with rap, you know, From and people gonna give me a bad, they the give me a bad rap. They say I don't like Jay Z. It ain't like that. Yeah, I just ain't into Jay Z like that. Nah, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying? Like, but you saying listen to it, but I'm saying I've never just sit down and be like, man, I'm gonna go get this Jay Z and pop this in. I'm gonna rock with it. You and Low Diesel be great friends. We had the same conversation me and you have right now, and yeah. it'll be y'all be like rolling with this. But for me. I'm like, nah, bro. Like, go, I, on reasonable doubt, go listen to Regrets, number 14. Go listen to Politics <laughs> as Usual. Exactly. Go, go, go listen to Kang Knock the Hustle, number one. Like, bro, go listen, go, go listen to uh, uh, UGK, now they got me running from the face. Now, I, I know go all listen UGK, to, too. Okay, then, so I this know was, all, you got to tell you. I, was, I know listen, all these niggas shit, too. Was, when, when a pocket full of stones came out, I had a pocket full of stones. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This ain't no bullshit. I can't set up here and act like I had, I couldn't listen to that, man. You know, I'm, I'm in the more south, too. bro. Yeah. I'm, I'm in the south. Saying, that's why I'm I in the south Jeezy, rolling, bro. See, I, you always, know what I'm saying? I always put Jeezy after, damn near close after Ho somewhere because that's how I feel. Like, when Jeezy I'm in the streets, out, We bro. really was, we was on the, okay, so that's on the road was. with the, and we was... When 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 Bon B came out, now they got we running from the feds. Him and him and UGK. I really was out here I, dealing with task force. I really was getting stopped. Yeah. I re they stopped saying I know you. Did, oh, we've been on. watching you. Did you know this? Them though? niggas is helping me, bro. Did you know this? Did you know Jay Z? You know who Jay Z favorite rappers is? Uh, UGK probably right. Scar when they Scarface and, and Pimp C. Pimp C. It's his favorite. As, artist. as they should you know what be. I'm but and me and him think alike. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just Scarface telling you. Because he studied. I heard he say but he studied you know right dirty. If you listen to Scarface, I ain't going to say pimp, but if you listen to Scarface, Scarface is like a Jay-Z. Like, the way he put Scarface the words together. Scarface is not like a Jay-Z. Jay-Z is like a Scarface. Well, maybe You that. got to flip that around. All right, let me flip it. Because go back to their first music it. and you'll see uh, when, when, when Jay first came out, he was not rapping like he rapped on into his season. Well, when Jay first came out, he was sick. That's what I'm telling you. Them songs I just named, that's the first time yeah, we but, ever heard but he Jay. He wasn't flipping, but under, under, I remember hearing him on some flipping type stuff when I heard his verse when he first came. Nah, Go back to the original he only stuff. He talking about dope. Yeah, but I don't know, man. Like I said, when I heard when I heard dope talk, the real dope talk, going to the feds, getting out, and all yeah. that, that came from UGK, my <laughs> nigga. I ain't, for me. For him for too. Me. For him too. Okay, so me and him on the same page. Nah, for him too. For Go him back too. and listen for to the music. Too. So I think that's why we kind of clad, because I'm going back to who I originally got my, 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 when I say I didn't get my game from him, but I, right. at the end of the day, I was doing what they was talking about when it was going down. Yeah. So I can't set up here now and act like these niggas didn't help me with meditation, making it through these different traps. Yeah, that's these right. These spots. That's I'm right. riding for 70 miles. Nigga, I need something to help me I, meditate. I ain't nigga. gonna lie, we ain't gonna go against Tupac again. <laughs> okay. I, I can, my boy is the truth now. Okay. Like, listen, now. I had niggas dying during that yeah, time. Yeah, listen, every song, every people be like, if I he die got tonight? Some, yeah, nah, like that nigga, like, I don't even wanna get into it. Mama, that why nigga, you at the window? Me. I don't know, he just stand at the window with that goddamn AK all day. He don't work, he don't eat. Come on, my nigga. Hey, did you did y'all watch that, that Tyrone movie that yeah. people talking about? Mm -hmm. All right, can y'all tell me why people say it's so cold? Cause I hated it. Well, I thought it was whack. I know one of my people that work with me. She think it was real. Everybody talking about it's cold. It's the rawest so, movie I ever seen. Talking about there's clowns the around fact, right now. But that's Terry, Terry, that. Terry, that, shit was, that shit was trash to me. Come bro. here, Terry. Terry. Yeah, cause we want. Uh, she. This is her thing. This. This is why she comes in. Cause this is the movie that she feels like was. Like like it was real. Like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, this is exactly what you brought her right in on the right time. Good. Come on, cause we gonna close this thing up. I gotta get pull to that, that chair. Pull the chair up. No, that pull the chair right now. Let's talk about this movie. Yeah, let's talk about it. Cause she Tell really me why uh, people think it was so good. Uh, it real and all this other stuff. Hey, chair, chair. Welcome to Boss Talk One Hundred and One. Uh, OTC, you in the building? Yeah, let's let's is. let's talk about it, man. I want to hear about it. Well, you he gotta open his mind. You got to open your mind, Luke. What he trying to tell you in the movie? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, cause I ain't pick up shit. <laughs> what you mean you ain't picked up nothing? Maybe you need to go rewatch it. I watched it three times to make sure I wasn't tripping. 
every time so I was miss, disappointed. So let me tell you, how you miss all the clues that he was saying that they were doing to us black? Like, okay. I heard all that, but it was so uh, cliche. Is that the word? Mm -hmm. Like, I knew it ain't that, duh. But if you like, think about it. They talking about pork and, and Kool-Aid, duh. What the yeah. fuck are we talking about? Because the way this we are, obvious. the way we are now. Okay, I'm listening. The way we are right now. Know. And all this generation of kids, look at this new generation. They, they messed up. You feel me? Yeah. And because we keep repeating the same thing, and they really kind of like trans us in our food and what we drink. You know what I'm saying? We ain't eating no healthy, nigga. You know, you ain't eating. So do yeah, you really I, I, think I, I, cloning I, I, is real? Hello. Yeah, I think cl what cloning is, they put it in your face. Okay. And, and, and so you think this problem? movie was real? Like, like to you? Man, listen. Jamie Foxx put something out for real. And where you from? Terrell. Yeah. So you better, hey, you better. She think listen, it was real. Listen, listen. All the stuff that he been through, they tried to kill this man before they let this movie fly. Now why? Ask yourself this. Why, why I, don't that that the I don't think why that was the reason. I don't think that was the reason. Why this they movie. Man, like that. They, he even said it. It was because of this movie. Yeah, they tried to. They I'm tried not to doing it. I'm saying, Terrell. Terrell. I'm, I'm not I'm doing it. I'm saying though, what? You but I'm saying though, but. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the movie good? The movie is good because it's explaining that we is mind trap. We is in this man-made cycle. Not just white people, but white people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We is in this man-made trap. We get up and do the same thing. We got the same drug deals, the whole pimp. And they, they keeping it going. You feel me? Yeah. Like, you see what I'm saying? They keeping it going. And we ain't realizing that we is in this damn... You saying, like, so when trains. this person die, the next somebody else going to take that spot and keep it going? Right, like your generation. Right, yeah, you yeah. had a son, right? Right. That's your clone, but you got kind of, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I but feel he gonna, you. But he gonna, he gonna, he gonna grow up and do same thing Daddy did. You For sure, it? that's what I'm trying to have him do. Right. But <laughs> but be certain, better. But yeah, in certain but situations, raw. certain situations, Extra. you know, yeah. for for our kind, it's hard for us to get up out the mud. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it's reflecting, like mm. yo breaking your generation of curse. And he kind of probably woke up and be like, okay, you know what I'm saying? But it, you already got to kind of put it in perspective. You know? mm. Well, I just it's hard on me, man. Like I said, uh, okay. uh, I, it's just trying to understand. I don't think they're gonna put too much in so our face. So you get it now, cause you you over there thinking. I see them eyes moving, nah, like it was, he's it still was, trying to figure it, was, it out. It was a uh, it's still. St Crazy whack to me. I don't know. I like it, Jamie Foxx. You did a I good job. I, I, I like it. So, do you have any questions for Gunner TV before we close this thing off? Yeah. Anything you want to ask him? Anything about anything? Like you know, he deals with TV, different. I see, I see you have a lot of people. I see. You know what I'm saying? I mm -hmm. see you do your thing in the community. How How would you say during your experience through all this? How How hard it was into now. Mm. Reflecting on uh, if not that you've been through for for young people, you getting this some encouragement. Like, what would, mm. you, what would your advice be? I, I it's crazy because I can go back to Jay Z. Oh, oh go, go, go ahead, Jay Z. I'm so tired. He wait, Jay Z. Oh, let me go again. Now we we at odds with it. Oh my <laughs> God, she just ruined my day. Go oh. ahead, let me get that Jay Z. Jay Z said the smartest thing we ever did was never quit. That's, that's the best way to answer my shit at all times because I didn't start out popular or famous or none of that shit. You feel me? I ain't going to say popular. I've been the guy. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'm saying it still, though. I wasn't known to the world. God damn it. But I'm saying it like I could have slowed down a lot of times throughout the, the adversity and, and it wouldn't be there. You feel me? Yeah. So I would say just keep going, but that ain't the answer I'm going to give you because yeah. that's kind of just easy. <laughs> the answer I give you, though, is shit, I outwork everybody. That's real. Yeah. I don't that's care it. about all the other shit. That's I say, it. let's go do this. Yes. Like, let's do this. Mm. And whatever it takes to get there. You know, when my time was coming up, I used to, I was a greyhound king. Yeah. Feel me? Mm -hmm. Nah, you hear what I'm saying? I see. Wasn't no mega buses and all this shit around. I was a Greyhound King. Yeah. I'm paying forty dollars to go to New York, forty dollars to go to Atlanta, and I was doing this shit daily and going back home too. You feel me? None of my homeboys ride on no bus to go catch no show to go meet nobody, but they still at home though too. Yeah, you feel me? That's real. That's so I'm saying, go get it. I, in my 20s, I didn't have no kid. I had my son at 30. This shit was playing. I knew I was going to have that nigga then because I told my chick I was talking to, I said, hey, if you don't get pregnant this year, a random chick going to get pregnant. Mm. He going to be born this year. What was so important about that year? 
He dirty. He did ready his time. I don't know, and then I didn't even know that at that time. But now that's what I. I, I, I it can, was I just time. It. I felt it. It was you like it's time. Y'all yeah, want more? Like three, four, maybe. Okay. If I can get three, four out, you know what I'm saying? I want it. Yeah. So, but this time it's not like I'm going to have the second one this year or third one nah, that year. No, nah. It's not so important. It ain't not right now, but <laughs> that one was. He was all the way regardless. It was going to be his mama or another. You That's, feel me? I got to like, ask, ask about this. I don't mean to cut you off, but Moonwalker, like last time, you you know, you've been working with him. I seen y'all, you on the video with him. Yeah. I got to get that part. Um, like, uh, how's it been working with him? And, with Moon? And, yeah. Well, shit, it's crazy. I got to answer the question because he here, ain't he? Yeah, but you we got to ask it anyway. You ain't have to answer got, the question. I got to answer it. Uh, no, I'm saying I got to answer it uh, fake. He here. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, they ain't like that. Come on. No, <laughs> yeah, I'm outside. Yeah, outside. No, I'm just talking. All right, all right. All right. Nah, it's good work with Moon. Moon, humble as hell. Like, he probably one of my easiest artists I didn't work with because he he agree with, um, with trust. A lot of people agree with denial. Okay. And I ain't never said this in my life, wow. but that's hard. Wow. A lot of people be like, yeah, 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 yeah. But then they hear they be like, mm. Mm. I feel like that's how that's how we be that relationship. You know what I'm saying? But Moon, I tell him something. You know I mean that shit. Yeah, yeah. And I can tell he know I mean it too. Like, feel me? Mm -hmm. But I be telling certain people shit, and I be like, and I just laugh in my head. I be like, yeah, this shit stay with yet, my <laughs> boy. Because <laughs> I ain't just talking just to talk. Yeah, I keep this shit to myself. Yeah, tell my son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. No, for a good game. Yeah, I ain't gonna just get this Man. shit away. Man, we love you, bro. What? How can people get a hold of you if they're trying to reach out? You know, they and can't. He always on Boss Talk they One on One. Oh, this is my guy, Gunner TV. He ain't playing with y'all. He Boss Talk One on One. They can't. Hey, we OG. certified. I tell them, hey, OG, all that, right? What I tell them every time, they can't. They can't. It ain't that easy. No, you I don't want to talk to nobody. <laughs> you feel me? I ain't you know, like so, it. So I got to call you. Yeah, like, Damn. like niggas be DMing and shit like that. that I will say too. that you could try to DM, but I read it. So like, if the DM sound crazy, you'll never. I damn near block you, goddamn. Damn, there it is, y'all. Gutter TV. So come correct, goddamn. come correct, or don't come at all. Come with your heart, man. Man, don't, don't come with your ego. All that, hey man, sign me. I'm better than Moonwalker. That nigga can't beat me. <laughs> come why you? Why you got Cincy Molly? She suck. I'm better than her. Well, goddamn it, get better than them. Yeah, show me. Make a nigga look at you. Yeah, yeah. You telling me that? I don't even like you no more. Yeah, I don't right. do that. Now I'm ready to fight you. You got to put somebody else down yeah. to make yourself look like, good. Yeah, you, you, you putting down somebody to turn yourself up. Like, that's, that's, that that's that it. same person that when you help them, they're going to say, he never he did nothing did for me. He never did for me. Nah, for sure. You the got it. Show you know it, Miss Jamaica. That's the what it is. Show, that's dude. why you can't get a hold to me. I ain't got time mm -hmm. for all that bullshit ass shit. Man. I would just rock out. Hey, E. I'd rather find another hustle if I let niggas finesse me to be in they homie. Man, I don't agree. Fuck I don't, I don't, I, hey, listen, I don't blame you to be honest with you because it ain't worth it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times niggas be trying to just ride for the, they just, these niggas got motives, bro. Hey, let me say one thing before we get out of here. Go ahead, man. We got motives. My partners, I got two partners. Uh, shit, say their name. Darnell and JoJo. I was wondering... Throughout my time of coming up, why did I meet these niggas and why was they my, why did I, they cling to me and they already had a different kind of lifestyle? But uh, saying that to say, with this music shit, one thing I learned is that you can, you can take care of three, four families or generations with that one person. Wow. Feel me? So I'm saying the two people I just named, they ain't never had to do nothing at 30 years old because of what they people did before they was born. Wow, that's big too. So that's, that's how I live my life, you feel me? Because I know it's possible. I know some people that never had to really, feel me? Because they people did it for them. That's big. You feel mm -hmm, me? Mm -hmm. Like, you can set your people up. That's something that people don't really know. Yeah, a You lot can really people. set your people up, but you kind of got to want to do it. You got to want to do it. Feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you say about people like Steve Harvey and them that say they're going to spend all their money except for about 10 That's what I'm saying. They don't want to. They say they, they not want niggas to struggle and shit. I, I don't want my niggas struggling. Uh, what's the name, son? Uh, 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 Jackie Chan said that mm -hmm. about his son. He ain't going to give him, leave him nothing. Yeah, that's crazy as hell.
So it's, it's different people that feel different ways about that. Like they feel like it's not your money. You didn't succeed. I succeeded. You got to go come up on You your know, I used to say every time I made I some money, that. every time I made some money, I used to be looking at it like shit. If you really think about it, it really ain't your money. Because you already thinking about who you want to spend it on. But here, here's, <laughs> here's the deal, man. You know what I'm saying? I used to be like, man, it really ain't. You feel me? How mm-hmm. could it really be yours if you really got something to do with it already? Anyway. Tattooed on my back. You know what I mean? When I was going through a lot. Proverbs 13, 20 and 22 says, a good father leaves an inheritance to his children's children. What's, what, which uh, scripture is it? Proverbs 13 and 22. You know Mark 10, 27? Now what it say? That's the only one I know in my life. Really? Yeah. I, I never read the Bible like that. I always went Mark to church 10, and stuff, I but I 10. never... That's just with God Anything is possible Yeah I know Mark I knew that one Just because That's that shit's stupid true It's really true Nigga I ain't know Nothing but selling weed So When I started Believing I can make money Off music I was like This is God (laughs) Cause I thought This was the only way To make money You You know what I mean Like That's hard Yeah Man, right. thank you, man, so much for coming on the show, man. We love you, Gutter TV. You my nah, guy. Nah, for sure. Man, and thank you so much for, for blessing sure. me for my birthday, man. You nah, probably one sure. of the realest ones, man. Ain't been but a couple. We know mm-hmm. I'm like you. Ain't but a few. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> we can count. But I don't really rock with so many people, too. So I understand why, though, because I don't let people get to, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. I know what I'm doing. It's, it's like I'm, I'm building this block. You know what I'm and saying? People fake now, E. They Never is, forget bro. it. Like people they will is, get around bro. you just to talk about you. They mm-hmm. is, They'll get around you just to be like, man, I, I know I him. I went over the crib. You yeah, said anything yeah, else? Man, yeah. Uh, nah, you uh, know, nobody know where I live. I asked either. my son the other day. He know the like four that. people that been in our house. Bro, I, who you sound like? You? He know the four people that been in our house. My son do. He said, Lil Dunn, Smalls, and he named them And I'm like the damn My name. nigga smart Cause he know This ain't the party house Did you hear what I just yeah. said Mine's uh, We've 17, been living there 20 the years thing. Yeah if you pull up With somebody in my house they I'm down there finna We getting the gun I, Yeah like I'm, I was finna tell you I'm down there finna Be one to hit it Both of y'all like, I'm the same way But my people know that Them four yeah. They know they they say it every time. They be like, Come on, bro, I had to figure out how to get over here. You know you don't want nobody here. Yeah, you know yeah. Saying? That's the same way I go through yeah. some me and you up. Yeah. Now figure you see why the vibe the vibe yeah. is weird. Yeah. Hey, figure it out, nigga. That's it, borrow man. your cop, borrow our cop, nigga. <laughs> don't get no ride. Uh-uh. You get a ride, nigga. This your last oh, time ever tripping. talking to me. Exactly. I'm, I'm gonna be looking at you crazy as hell. No if you bullshit. drive up to the store and you're part of my team, you bring around you can't even do that. No bullshit. We don't even play like that. That's why you see the same people here. You told me that the one nigga need don't pull up deep. No, man. He pulled up so Solo, didn't he? Yeah, no, he, yeah, he did. He That's did. Right. Damn, I sure told did. him. I, I said, like, hey, I don't want that. I don't want OG to feel nothing different. Yeah. I told yeah. him you're going to be, yeah. Because we got to we gotta keep it 100, man. We can't be playing, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We got to, we got to, we got to structure. Got we got to structure, Somebody yeah. got to be in charge, bro. Yeah, and that's the problem. Everybody trying to do something on their own. They ain't, they ain't doing nothing. And stand for some or fall for anything. That shit is real you as hell. You know what? I got that saying when I, on my uh, commercial. Stand for something, fall for anything at the end of the that's, yeah, that's real as hell. Yeah. Man, love you. For sure. Yeah. Been another great segment. Miss Jamaica. It's been another great segment. Well, uh, um, come day doing some. Uh, uh, come day in Lama Summer. Oh, Lord. That ain't me. You said, you said animal or something. You what? Both of y'all. Man. Man. What are you talking about when I said walk on? What? Guacabeo. <laughs> what are y'all trying to say? Come on, they song. What? what? No, you, no. Got, you got me saying that. That ain't yeah, what she said. Trying to I'm trying to say what you said at the beginning of every Wal- show. Wagwan, Madea, what is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Check Wal- it, man. Wagwan, Madea. It's been another great segment. <laughs> hey, listen, it's been another great segment of Ball Talk 101 when a boss is talking. Oh, yeah. Uh,